Okay, let's go over some examples from section 1.1. I'm on page 74 of the textbook and looking at problem 16. We want the equation of the line which passes through the following two points. They are the point minus 1, 3 and the point 3, 3. So, if we're given two points and our goal is to find the equation of a line what we're asked to do is to write this out except we need to find the values for M and B that are associated with this pair of points. So first thing we do is find the slope. So we find M and we do that by taking the difference in Y's how far you know how far we have to travel to get from 3 to 3 well that's a distance of 0 divided by you know, the movement from minus 1 to 3 so 3 minus a minus 1 so this is 0 over 3 plus 1 0 over 4 and 0 over any non-zero number is just well 0. <clears throat> so we have our slope now we need to get the y-intercept which is the value of b. Now we can either use point slope form or we can plug in a point into this formula and solve for B which is what we're going to do but if you prefer point slope plugging in a point and the slope and then solving for Y go to it there's nothing wrong with that method I just find that most students seem to uh, prefer the method where we plug in a point say the point 3 3 we can choose 3 3 or minus 1 3 either point will work and plug it into this equation so we'll plug 3 in for y and 3 in for x as well so 3 in for y 3 in for x but we know what m is we know that m is 0 and our goal in this part of the problem is to find the value of b well 0 times 3 is 0 so b is 3 this is our y-intercept so our line is y equals 0x mx plus b but we can simplify this because 0x is just 0 and 0 plus 3 is just 3 which gets us to a point of saying that this is actually a property of every horizontal line every horizontal line has a slope of zero and vertical lines actually have an undefined slope or if you will a slope of infinity <clears throat> alright let's take a look at another problem 18 on the same page and same basic instructions we're supposed to find the equation of the line that passes through the following two points.
first point is a half comma a quarter and the second point is zero comma two now there'll be a couple ways to find B in this problem as we'll see later on but remember our goal here we're supposed to find the equation of the line that passes through these two points that means our answer is going to look like this except we're going to be writing in numbers for M and B but before we can do that we have to find out what are the right numbers for M and B so we start off by finding M so we take the change in Y to minus a quarter divided by the change in x zero minus a half now let's see this is going to be two over one so the common denominator is going to be four two over one is the same thing as eight over four and zero minus a half is just going to be minus a half <clears throat> so 8 fourths minus 1 fourth is 7 fourths divided by minus 1 half now dividing by a fraction that's the same thing as multiplying by the reciprocal meaning you flip the bottom fraction around so instead of negative 1 half it's now negative 2 over 1 and multiplying fractions is just, is just very simple. It's straight across. 7 times 2 is 14. 4 times 1 is 4. Well, 2 goes into both those. 2 goes into 7, or excuse me, 14, 7 times. And 2 goes into 4 twice. So we now know what m is supposed to be. m is supposed to be minus 7 halves let's see if we can find B so step two halfway through this we found M now we need to find B so again I'm just gonna plug in if you prefer a point slope form again feel free to use it so we plug in 0 for x 2 for y so instead of y equals it's going to be 2 equals m times mx well x is 0 and m m was 7 halves and we don't know what b is that's the whole point of this we're trying to find out what b is well that's simple uh, 7 halves times 0 is just 0. 0 plus b is just b. And so we find that our y-intercept is 2. Again, that's not our answer. Recall, our goal, our answer is going to be in this form. So we're going to write it out as y equals something times x plus b. And we just fill in the proper values for M and B. <clears throat> now, aside from point slope and just straight plugging in, we were told that the line passes through the point zero two. That's what they told us here the line passes through this point and the line passes through this point well this is a rather special point this point is the y-intercept but B is the y-intercept it's the y-coordinate of the y-intercept so rather than go through all this we could have just looked at this point and said oh this point tells us that B is equal to the y-coordinate 2 
So we really didn't even have to do this or point slope. All we had to do was look at this point. And we could have gotten our answer here. That's the alternate way of doing this. So be on the lookout for when they actually give you the y-intercept in the problem.